Hello and welcome back. You see, this particular technique, as I already mentioned, is called pegging. Let me explain what pegging is. If you were to imagine in your room or office, there is a, a peg or a hook on, on, on the wall. On that peg or a hook, you could put a coat, you could put your umbrella, you could put your shirt, you could put anything. If you'd leave it there, uh, a couple of hours later, you come back and you see, um, and you went right back to the peg, what would be on the peg or the hook? Whatever you put there in the fir first place, in the beginning, it would still be there. The same thing occurs in your mind. You see, you need to establish a, a, mental, a mental place where we can store information. When we want to remember something, we put it uh, in a mental place. And then later, all we need to do is go back to that mental place and there's the information. This happens every single day in our lives. This is how we operate. For example, you wanted to see if you got any polls today. Where would you go? Um, where would you probably go? Your letterbox, that's the place that stores mail. If you wanted to see if you got any milk, where would you go? Your fridge, because this is where you store milk. If you wanted to get some money, where would you go? Well, maybe your purse, uh, it may be your wallet, it could be different places for a lot of people. But whatever you, wherever you keep your money, this is where you would look. I'm going to change the theme now. Do not write down the body list. You do not write down anything in these sessions because we are not working with the written, we are working with the mind. So do not write this down. We have established 10 pegs on our body. We call this the body list. And there are three things you need to virtually remember anything. You need to know these three things. You need a place to put the information. We call that a mental, a mental peg, um, a mental hook, a mental cubbyhole, a mental file folder, whatever you choose to call it. You need a, a place to store the data in your mind. We now have 10 places on, on our body list. Number two, you need the information itself to turn, there's information coming along and you need to turn it into a vivid picture. Why? Well, we already discussed this. Your mind thinks in pictures. It's the only language your mind comprehends and understands. So we need to give it pics. Number three, you need mental glue to hold the pic in its, on its peg you know, so you can't touch it anymore. And that mental glue is called action, not association, it's called action. Now, at this point, um, it is important that you understand by definition what association is. You see, um, what we are going to do here is not at all association. So check out the next video and I explain further.